Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to cover big data architecture of the real time. In my earlier videos, I have covered generic big data architecture as part of the part one. I also covered archival architecture for beginners and part two as well. So in these videos, I covered cold and warm storage type of mechanisms. In the current video, I have brought some real time architecture. So in the real time, you can see plenty of databases are being used. In my previous uh, videos, you have seen uh, simple flow, like how you ingest the data, store the data, then prep and train, and then model and serve. These are the four different phases for any big data architecture. So the same thing we are trying to replicate into the real time. So in the real time, you don't have just one or two databases, right? You have plenty of databases. You can see few databases are regional, which are on-premises databases for product one. And the product two is also using few databases in on-premises. It doesn't stop there. We have plenty of other databases on the cloud for the various products. One organization might be building uh, maybe tens of products. So each product have more than one database. So in this case, you have on-premises, you have cloud databases, and in the cloud also we are using Azure SQL, MySQL, and Cosmos DB for the various solutions. So now, from the on-premises, you have to bring that data to the cloud. You have various approaches. In this particular architectures, you can see few sets of databases are being imported to the cloud database as a single point of source. Then after coming here, the data is being filtered. Like what is the data required to be processed to your data lake for your prep and train. And then you also make it a model and serve, right? So for that, you will filter what is the database required to be sent to your data lake uh, to store the data. So for that, you're using Azure Data Factory. So Azure Data Factory will help you to ingest the data from your on-premises or from other cloud databases to your respective database like it could be adx azure data explorer or data lake or maybe you can think about the data bricks so there are plenty of ways to do that so here we they are using data factory to dump the data to the data lake similarly the other reason database regional databases are dumping the data to the blob storage from the blob storage again data factory is being used and data lake is a final storing point so the same thing, Azure SQL is also using the data factory. MySQL and Cosmos DB is using data factory or event hub based on the type of scenarios. And the database data is being dumped to the data lake. So all from these resources or sources, it is going to be filtered, which data actually need to be stored in the data lake. It's not like all the data will go to data lake, but you have to filter it out what data will be helpful to store it for permanent and then also to analyze the data, also to prepare the model and serve. Okay, so you you it's a big strategy. I'm just trying to cover it in the few minutes. Then after that, once the data has come to the data lake from plenty of sources, right? One data lake storage, or you can use data explorer. Then again, you are using the data factory. I mean, in this particular one, they are using the data factory to move it to the Delta Lake or data breaks. So here again, you know, you can use Snowflake or maybe other mechanisms. What is available? It, it, it necessarily not to be the data breaks, but you can use something like Snowflake as well. Snowflake is another good option what we have in the market. So after that, data will be published to the dashboards so that you know the end user can see what are the insights probably you might be getting some iot data how many uh, iot devices are on active or offline or online or what are the different uh, issues there are uh, being occurred in the production so all those things can be analyzed and it can be shown in the form of the dashboard below not only that this data can also be used for the other data analysis purposes maybe country one maybe france or germany wants to analyze this particular data so for them you can provide the access so that they can start analyzing the data so simple architecture but 
it almost covers one small organization data strategy lot of scope there for the improvements here probably you know you may be getting ideas why should i use service a db one more the service and db to bring all this data i can directly use one blob storage right yes you can do that or you can directly use the data factory to get the data from all these sources as yes, that can be done so i'm not saying this is the best architecture always there are improvements to be done for any type of architecture so there is plenty of scope here as well uh, maybe we can follow some kind of unified solution to bring all the data together from one particular data factory or probably one data source like blob storage first and then you can split the data to uh, the respective sources so you can think of thanks for watching my videos i'll come up with more real time uh, videos